Hello everyone, it's about time I got around to this. We finally have a new Killer Film Reviews episode here today. We are going to be talking about FNAF, or specifically the Five Nights at Freddy's movie when I thought of it. Memory's a little hazy, but I'll do my best. Honestly, this got pushed back way, way, way too far back. It's been a hectic night, hectic um, last two months here, but... Um, this uh, film st is written by Scott Cawthon, Chris Lee Hill, and Tyler McIntyre, I believe. Based on the games, the Five Nights at Freddy's made really good bank on the box office here, from what I'm reading. Budget was around 20 million. Box office was 293 million, so it will have a follow-up, no doubt. This movie took a long time to come out. I was waiting on this for at least three or four years. I'm gonna say I was impressed with the story and the characters in it. I'm trying to not give away too many spoilers in this for obvious reasons, but we let's go over our nice actors and actresses. We got Josh Hutcherson playing the night guard, Michael, Elizabeth Lale, Pipe Rubio being the young girl, Mary Stewart, Masterson, Matthew Lillard. Now, those that recognize the name Matthew Lillard may have remember the Scooby-Doo live-action films from the early 2000s. He was in those. First one, the second one. So, if it seems familiar to you, that's why. And I highly recommend at least the first one. The second one's good, too, for the Scooby-Doo live-actions. Honestly, they don't get enough credit. I just think that the market wasn't ready for live-action films yet. But those kind of films just kind of wouldn't have a bunch of target market as they did back then today. Well, they actually would, I think, but there's some jokes that they're making there that probably wouldn't fly today, and we'll just leave it at that. Obviously, times change and all that. But going back to the film, I honestly think that just kind of the runtime was a little bit short compared to what it could have been. I feel like another 10 minutes would have done it some good for at least fleshing out the story more with it being more like more teasers as to what's going to come next and that sort of a deal. Honestly, does this feel more video gamey than actual story driven movie? Not really, I think it's more story driven, honestly, for this one, but obviously if you've played the games, it's going to help you understand what's going on. If you haven't played the games, don't worry, you'll... It comes together good enough for the plot, where you can fill in the rest of the details. Do the animatronics look scary? It's I'm sure it's a question that you all have. Yes, they do. And they don't play around with that, it's not gory gory like... I want to say God of War franchise. It's not gory like that. Obviously, if you're not of age to play God of War games, do not play those games, yada, yada. But, hey, it is what it is, honestly. I think the whole film really kind of took its time with explaining things at a pace that I kind of liked. I just honestly wonder where it's going to go in the future. But I don't believe we'll be following storylines exactly according to timeline just because there's been so many entries in the franchise now. I think they're going to do a fair bit of hopping around in the next entry. I don't think it's going to be the same, same place again. Well, it could be. You never know. But me personally, I think it's going to go to a different location. Probably not sister location, I don't think. Could be sister location, honestly. I think I'm getting my my game. I think I'm getting my games and my movies mixed up here because because of recent games or whatever. So we got the FNAF help on it too, and it's kind of scrambling me a little bit. Yeah, I do play FNAF games occasionally on the Land Killer Zombies channel. And the, Problems that I just don't always have time to finish things how I would like to finish them. Yeah, couldn't 
resist a little plug to that, but I don't like all these ads you guys are having to endure with YouTube. I really don't. I really feel for you with, with them all, with all these ads. It's just it's getting ridiculous, and I hope that, that an ad doesn't just pop up when I say that. But, yeah. Just going back to the, to the movie again, the, the whole plot just felt really good and contained. Honestly, you wouldn't find much wrong with it if you were to watch it. And I don't want to give too much away about the plot or the story just because it's such a good film on its own. But yeah, I'll let you guys draw your own conclusions. It's a good film. There's not really much else to say about it other than story makes it good, the action was decent enough, honestly it just, it's gonna take time to see what, what happens as a result of all this, honestly. Honestly, I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen with the franchise, but it's in a good spot right now. Don't get me confused with Killer Film Reviews Tony Bush, it's a completely separate person, completely separate channel, honestly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what sucks is that sometimes people t take what you already did and they kind of make it their own thing or whatever. It, it's fine. He's doing his own thing. It doesn't infringe on my stuff. So uh, he's in the UK anyway. His content's pretty good. Go check him out sometime if you want. Honestly, I don't get more videos off for you guys. Sorry for not uploading this last month and a half. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Killer from Reviews. Out and happy holidays. Hi everyone, Landon Killer here. Just this is a little channel trailer, a little something that I'm dropping at the end of every video. Please support the other channels as much as you can. They'll have their animations flash on the screen shortly for your entertainment. I put a lot of effort into YouTube and I have a tremendous back catalog across many channels from racing to first person shooter content to film review content. I have it all. It's all on, it's all on the home tab now because the channel tab is gone, unfortunately. So most of it you're going to find on the home tab now if you want to find the other channels, but um, Links should be in the description of the video you're watching here for the other channels. And I hope that you all have a great day. Please check out the other channels. Only one channel there that doesn't show up in the Slanted Killer IRL because it doesn't have an animation commission for it. Otherwise, the rest of them should be there. And of course, check out NVVM IRL, my main channel now. I hope you all have a great day. And please, YouTube, restore the channels tab and bring back the dislike button because this is just getting ridiculous at this point. It creates an awful experience for the user if you keep taking things away. Thank you and good day. Enjoy the animations, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.